Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do an estimate when you're doing a service call. So what we found here is we've got a transformer that's broken. It's still working right now, but the casing's broken. It could short out any time. So the best thing to do in this situation is just put a new transformer in and mount it somewhere where it's safe and it's not going to um, get sh shorted out. So the way to do this is if you look at the screen here, we're gonna click this button here, add estimate. Okay, we're gonna hit build new option and we're gonna name the estimate new transformer. Okay, done. Now we're gonna click on it. You see it comes up here in your estimate screen. You can see I've already sold a flame sensor estimate. So I presented that and the customer went ahead with that, but I've also found this uh, transformer that should be replaced. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap um, add items, then I'm gonna hit service calls. So if you're in service, pretty much all your service stuff is gonna be in service calls. Now, what are we working on? AC and heat pumps, gas heating, boilers and water heaters. So we're gonna go into boilers and water heaters and we'll find what we need in there. Um, and in this case, I know we've got it in gas heating as well. So gas heating has the same thing. Uh, all things that are related to uh, gas heating service. Okay. So I'm gonna go down here until I find what I'm looking for, which in this case is a 40 volt amp, 24 volt transformer. You just hit the plus sign there and it brings it up. So there's a description in here. Um, it tells you that the labored install is included in the price. Uh, it tells you what the transformer is for. And uh, this kind of helps when you're explaining to the customer what it's for. Now, if they're getting more than one item, you have the option to hit add on item. That's gonna drop the price because if they buy more than one thing, they can get a deal, okay? But right now we're gonna add it as full price. So then you go add to estimate. If you, okay, so we're just adding that item. So then we're gonna go done. Okay, then here, if you wanted to write anything else in summary or, or in the name, you could. Um, you can also add photos. So I'm going to add photos on job because I took this picture. I'm going to add it. Okay, now there's a photo attached to this estimate. And I'm going to hit. So that's all I need for this estimate. I'm going to hit done. Then I'm going to go to hit present. Okay, so I've already presented the customer this flame sensor um, estimate. It's already sold, as you can see. Now we're gonna go to new transformer, okay? You see there's an option for price and financing. Uh, this estimate is too low of a cost to finance. So if it was over a thousand dollars, then you'd see a monthly finance option as well. Okay, if you, they're interested in that, you just hit financing up here and they can see their options. Okay, so right now what we're gonna do is hit view. And now this is where you would show it to the customer. This is their estimate. Okay, if they approve it, you just get them to sign here. And then that sign and accept, you would hit that. I'm not gonna do it because I haven't accepted it yet. Uh, and then that's it. If they accept it, your, ne your next option is, is that's gonna pop up is just gonna be, are you gonna do the job now or later? Usually you have this in your truck, so you'll hit do the job now. And then it's gonna add it to your invoice automatically. So you can see we've sold this estimate, the flame sensor already, we go to the invoice, it shows up on the invoice here, along with the furnace tune-up. So this is our total invoice right now. If they approve this estimate, the new transformer, then that would get added to the invoice as well. So that's how you provide and sell estimates on a service job.